Hi, my name is Cher. I will be telling you why it took so long for the government to abolish slavery. I was interested in this topic because I wanted to learn what would happen if the government abolished slavery earlier and why was the 13th Amendment. Slavery was abolished on January 31st, 1865 and was adopted as part of the Constitution later that year on December 26th. Some people who helped abolish slavery are Abraham Lincoln, Harry Beecher Stowe, and John Brown. If the government had tried to abolish slavery earlier, then the southern states wouldn't agree to the Constitution because they would have to give up slaves to help them a lot. The Constitution also limited their power in Senate, where every state had equal power. The colonists were desperate to scrap the Articles of Confederation because it was causing chaos throughout the country. The government would rather wait to abolish slavery so their country would be under a new set of laws than to watch their country suffer. One debate that had to happen to abolish slavery was if the government would count slaves as part of the state's population. Ben Franklin and people at the Constitutional Convention passed a law that counted three-fifths of the slaves as part of the state's population. After the Constitution was written, people were happy unless they didn't like slavery. Some of these people who didn't like slavery got together and worked extremely hard to eventually abolish slavery after 78 years of hard work. This shows that big things don't always come easy. Some things that helped to abolish slavery were protests, speeches, petitions, and ships, which became much more profitable than slaves over the years. By getting a lot of people over the country to agree to abolish slavery, their voice was much more powerful and convincing. To sum this up, slavery was abolished so late because the colonists needed to write and agree to the Constitution. Protest speeches and Petitions helped abolish slavery. I hope you enjoyed listening to my presentation.